Greetings YouTube, welcome to my next craft project, which isn't a weapon. This is known as an oven helper. I think you can see that. Um, but it's made out of plastic, and as you can see, it's already been melted. Um, and it's a nice idea. Um, I paid nothing for that, literally. I, would, I got it for free at a yard sale. Someone just said take it. Um, but I like the idea, and I like the shape, I like the size. And I have a piece of channel, a uh, piece of flat stock, which is exactly the same width. So I've already sketched out the outline here on this. So I am going to cut it off. I need to do some layout lines because I want to put, um, find in whichever which of my um, Blair rotor brooch bits is the correct diameter. And I think those are, those are the same, or if they aren't, they're going to be. Um, and then I'll put a mark here so I can drill a hole for hanging it. And then once I've got that marked, drill it, and then we'll start the whole shaping process. Um, I'm going to use um, uh, a new blade, which I just picked up today, which is from Spider. This is a brand I've never tried before, so we're going to give this a shot and see how well it works. Um, they are all the buzz. I've seen them at, a, at a, um, Lowe's, and I had to stop there today to pick up a chop saw blade for my cutoff, my cutoff saw. Um, though I'm going to use that for this particular piece just because I want to see how it cuts. Uh, and it'll, it will also do the straight cuts for these before I get out the... On this one, I'll probably just use a flap wheel. But on this here and here, I'm, I'm going to use probably the, uh, the metal grinding wheel first and then a, a flap wheel to see if I can get as close to that as possible because that's going to be a lot easier to take off with a metal grinding wheel than with a flap wheel. And I'll just use the flap wheel for cut, for cleanup. And in this I'll probably do a straight cut and then two corner cuts. So um, once I get the dr it drilled and rough cut, I'll, we'll come back and I'll show you how it looks at that point. So here we have the rough cut. So I've got that corner roughly in the right shape. Got three holes. Now I have to uh, now I have to cut these two cuts here and those two cuts there. Now the spider blade that I've been using seems to be cutting a little bit slower, but it does a decent job. And the big advantage to diamond um, blades I've found is that they very much have fewer sparks because the blade is not um, a blading as you're going, because most abrasive, the mo all, all abrasive wheels, they're disintegrating as you're cutting. So they create more debris than the diamond ones do. Um, the diamond ones seem to go a little slower. The cut is a little wider. Um, and the burr seems to be a little more significant. With a nice new abrasive wheel, I found that, that there's very little uh, burr on the on the on the back side um, but this is a little bit heavier but that's not a big deal because I was had planned on you know um, cleaning this up anyway when I was finished so that's not a real uh, deal breaker but now I need to make these three cut these four cuts um, so that I can then get in there and this is all going to be flap wheel work in here um, this will all be just clean this one will be just cleaning it up these will be cleaning up and I'll be rounding the edges off on this probably rounding the edges off on this just because I can, you know what I mean, make it look a little better. Um, but yeah, that's all going to be flap wheel work. So I will, since I have that blade in there now, I'll make those cuts now, uh, get that out of there, and then I'll work on uh, using the grinding uh, disc to get that curve put in there. Uh, this can all be flap wheel, I think, on that one. Um, so yeah, so I want to grind that out. Get that, get that, the, the hunk of this out of there before I go to my to my flap wheel. Because a flap wheel is a lot slower when it comes to taking out that much metal. Although the, while the grinding wheel goes through that like nobody's business. Alrighty, so time for more straight cuts. So since the last segment I filmed, I went uh, to uh, Tractor Supply and I happened to pick up these Porter Cable discs. Um, they were 15 bucks for 15, so a dollar a piece. And I thought I would give them a try for the straight cuts on here. And actually, I'll be cutting the marks for this one on the other side. I transferred these to this side because I'll have an, an easier time coming at this angle, I think, from this side. So we're going to come from this side like this uh, for this cut. 
and then I'll flip it back over because the marks are on the other side as well as the marks for uh, the section that needs to be ground and the rounding on this end. But I had to transfer them over here because coming from the other side was just very awkward because of the shape of an angle grinder because it's asymmetric. It is not, the blade is not centered on the device. It's set off to one side. So sometimes you have to kind of get a little creative with how you clamp things so you can have a clear access to said thing. Um, so I'm going to give these a try and see if I think they are better in any way, shape, or form than the uh, discs I've been picking up at uh, Harbor Freight. They may be, maybe may not. We're going to find out. And here we go with Oven uh, Helper 2.0. It's not perfectly even on this. I didn't get that perfectly centered. And, you know, it's not flawless in its in execution, but it, it works. It's a hell of a lot stronger. It's got a better hanging uh, hook than it did before because you just hung it up by that way, and I never liked the way that hung up. I always thought it was just waiting for it to fall down. This I can hang up on a hook, and it's not going to move. And I was able to deburr it with this deburring tool here, which um, I picked up for a song because I got it in a lot of something else. So I, I, I paid next to nothing for this thing. It's a really nice deburring tool. Um, I, I literally, I probably paid cents for that. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, it's not a complex project, but I like it, and it's better than the old one, and it will last us forever and do the job of pushing things into the oven and pulling things out of the oven. So I'm happy. And my wife should be happy as well, because this means she can get the rack in and out safely and quickly uh, without worrying about the tool melting, which is, which is a good thing. So, I hope that you have enjoyed uh, this little project. I know I had fun, and it ends up with something useful.